Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Hey, this is Jason. This is Sick Made Airbrush coming at you guys. Hey, I welcome you, my airbrush peeps. What's happening, you guys? I welcome you to another video. Uh, so, hey, man. So, let's just get right into it, man. So, um, I'm in this video, guys, I have some requests or some questions on how I do fire. So, fire is a, is a, is a tricky thing, man, because... There's a whole bunch of different styles, different ways you could go about doing fire. The one thing I've learned over the years, man, is just be just be creative on your on your own and, and try not to do so much copying on someone else and on, on their style, okay? Because at the end of the day, man, you're gonna find your own style. <clears throat> That's why I like freehand art, man. That's why I like to freehand my stuff. It's because you find your own your own artistic abilities within you, man, and and Fire is the same way. Fire is the same way. You will find your own style if you practice fire with candy paints or transparent paints. There's different ways to go about it, man. You can even use opaque colors. Um, they're just different styles, right? So in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to do an image on a helmet, and there's going to be a lot of fire. You know, her name on the helmet, or her nickname is actually Fire, so there's a lot of fire involved. <laughs> All right, so the one thing you don't want to do is this. You don't want to do this, okay? This is one of my first attempts at, at doing fire with the template, and it's not bad, but it's something that I look at, and I have it on the wall, and um, I'm just not going to ever do that again. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that again, man. Uh, that style of, of of fire, going about fire with a template, and I just think it's too mechanical for me. Um, I'm not more free with it, so it's just not my style. But that's just that's something that I'm just I like I said, it's on the wall, and I'm I'm just look at the wall, and I see that, and I'm just not gonna ever do it again. <laughs> that's me, man. That's me. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not dogging templates or. Any kind of use like that, man. I just like, uh, I like messy. I like uh, fire to be messy and foggy and all that good stuff. When you look at fire in a fire pit or pictures or, or video of fire, man, it's just, it's a little messy, right? It's just, it's, that's how I go about it. I always see, whatever I see, man, that's what I draw. <laughs> that's what, that's what my saying is, right? So um, that's what I truly believe. So. I go about that fire. I'm actually going to end this video. I'm using Candy 2.0. Okay, I'm using Candy 2.0. And basically, just let it bleed. Just let it bleed, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm not using no bleed checker or anything like that. And in this process, you're going to see how if you let the color just bleed through, the different effects you're going to get with with candy colors. Okay? I actually done this done this in my... My Mortal Kombat video, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. <clears throat> um, I'll send, it's in the description, the link's in the description to the Mortal Kombat. But anyways, guys, you know, just let it bleed, guys. Let the, the candy colors bleed through, and you're going to see all the different types of effects you're going to get out of that color. And I just love the, I love to just let it bleed. I don't, I don't even know if I have a bottle of bleed checker, but if you guys ever use that, you use it. It's good stuff. I just haven't ever used it. <laughs> I haven't ever used it because I never needed to, man, because the first time I ever did fire uh, with candy colors and I just laid them over, didn't know nothing about bleed checker, I like that effect. I like that effect. And you could get that same effect with transparent colors too, man, with Createx colors, Wicked colors, or anything like that, man. You can still get that same effect, that bleed through. So um, check it out. I hope you guys liked the video, man. So stay tuned. Here we go, man. Let's just rock it.
Okay, you guys, so just want to let you guys know, man, this is not your typical uh, instructional tutorial video on realistic fire, man. You know, this is real live stuff. This is a, a this is actually a customer helmet. I'm doing some freehand art on it and um, just letting you guys know, you know, when you guys are doing fire and and images like this, man, it's, it's you just want to be loose. You want to be loose. You want to be free, guys. You know what I mean? That's what I always say, guys, you know. Fire doesn't have to be a, a specific way, guys. You know, you, there's so many different ways to do fire. This, like I said, this is a background fire. Um, but this is also a video on on candy colors, right? Because I'm gonna be using candies throughout this process and letting the colors bleed through. You know, I think I used three different candy colors on this process, and um, I didn't even use um, a lot of red, a lot of red in this process and fire, man. So. Um, but anyways, just letting you guys know that this, you know, this is not your typical tutorial, guys. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> you're going to go into this stuff like this, just going in and, and creating stuff, man, and, and off the top of your head or however you see it, man, you know. Um, be creative, guys. You know, stop worrying about what everyone else is doing and, and just, just do your own thing. Um, I actually didn't know about this bleed through. Uh, as soon as I said that when, when, when colors bled through, I didn't really understand that years ago um, until I ran into candy, using candy colors and basically not using a bleed checker because I didn't know what the heck a bleed checker was. Um, and even when they told me what a, you need to use bleed checker, I still didn't know what it was back in the day, man. So I'm just like, so as I use candies for um, on fire and other projects that I've done, man, and um didn't use no bleed checker i just thought it was cool as hell the the effects that it gets man you know when you're not using any kind of bleed checker or or checker <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's this uh it's a different uh technique man that i actually just ran across um on mistake and just or not mistake but just running through and using the colors right you can use it with transparent colors like i said uh with transparent and opaque colors you know um, it just depends what you're what you're using it for, man. And like I said, different types of colors too, man. Um, blues and greens, man. Oh my God, the effects you get with those colors. And and then if you use bleed, not bleed check. If you get if you use candy colors over over flake, I mean, th there's a totally different ball game um, with um, with the bleed through on those effects, man. Um, it's it's crazy, but um. It's pretty cool stuff, man. And um, right here, I'm using some, <clears throat> I'm using some candy, some uh, tequila yellow on the on the sh on her dress, and just spitting it everywhere, man. Just I'm being loose with it, and that's how you guys should be, man. Just try not to put too much thought into it, man. Um, this is the type of artist I am. I'm just a real messy artist. Um, you know, I think the best results come from being messy <laughs> and mistakes the mistakes that i that i that i run across <laughs> you know what i mean that's what it's all about man it's is you live and you learn bro that's what it's all about you guys so uh let's just keep it let's keep going with it man
All right, you guys, so I'm just constantly building here, man. It's looking pretty good. Building on this face, man. Um, smaller images like this on, on a face is, is tough to do, man. It's tough to do. You got to be patient. You got to just constantly build. Um, don't ever think you're, you're, you know, you saw how it looked. In the, you saw how it looked. It looked like a freaking blow-up doll, man. <laughs> It looked like a blow up dust. I had to sharpen her face up a little bit, man. <laughs> All right. But anyways, guys, you know, this is about the, the, the candy colors and bleeding through, right? So the more layers you put in, guys, the, the, the better. You know what I mean? And what the white that I'm using, too, you got to remember, too, that the white that you use over this is it's a detail white. It's a transparent white. So anything that I put put over this, the candy, it's going to bleed right through, and it, it might not completely go through, but it's going to give effects out, man. So, you know, in this process, I use some Grabber Orange. I use some Tequila Yellow. Um, I use some some Candy, uh, what is it, the Blood the blood, uh, blood Red, and, you know, just a little bit of mist here and there. And then when you use that transparent white over that, that's when stuff starts to, that's where your effect comes from, man. And it bleeds through in different ways, man. And just gives a different shading to the whole process, man. It's, it's sick, man. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's how, it, that's how it rolls, man. You don't want to, you could build as much as you want to build on it and put as many layers as you want just to, to, to get the effect that you want to get, man. You know what I mean? So, um, I went over this a few times and, um, with the transparent, um, with the transparent white and, um, just got different effects out of the whole image, man. It turned out pretty sick. So, um, it's turning out pretty sick. So, um, yeah, let's just keep it rolling guys. You know, if you have any questions down, put them down below, man. You know what I mean? So, um, I hope you guys are understanding the process of this and, and, and learning the effects on this man. And, um, it's a pretty cool process, man. I, I love using it. I'm going to constantly use it. Um, I don't think I'll ever use a bleed checker. Um, I'm just saying that now, but it's been years and I still haven't used it. But like I said before, it's nothing wrong with using a bleed checker if you want to use a bleed checker, um, you know, to, to build your layers. Um, but I, like I said, man, when you're doing fire, there's really... There's really no point in using a bleed checker, to be honest with you. I don't see why people use it, but whatever. It's uh, to each his own. And, yeah, so let's just um, continue with the process, guys. Oh, 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 
Okay, you guys, so that's about it, man. We're coming to the very end of this video. Um, again, guys, you just want to be loose with it, be free with it. This is uh, freehand art, freehand fire. This is how I lay it down, you guys, and I'm just, you know, like I said, you just want to just be loose with it, be build, build on the whole project, man. You're not just building on the, the character or, or the image that you're drawing. You build on the fire. Let the candy and, and the transparent white do its thing. You know what I mean? Just let it bleed through, guys, and that's what it's all about. You don't need that bleed checker. Um, this is just a different effect that you get without it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, man. So, yeah, here are my thoughts on the end. So let's check it out. thought what was pretty cool was this vent right here I use it as her crown man so I thought that was pretty dope okay you guys hey so that about does it for this video man I really do appreciate you guys staying tuned to the whole thing that's uh, much love right there guys I hope you got value out of this video you know what I mean so this is just the many ways of doing uh, doing fire guys this is one of my styles I got other styles I could, I'm going to be doing in the future for you guys and, and how I lay it down with templates and um, not like the one on my wall. <laughs> I'm not going that route again. <laughs> but anyways, with templates and, and stuff like that, man. But you, the, the whole main thing, guys, is, is basically you find your style, man. Find find your out on this, man. If you're using candy colors, if you know, using bleed checker you know you could use bleed checker i don't have nothing against that stuff man i just like to let it bleed through man you get different effects on different colors too man with candy uh which is pretty cool um so I, i'll be doing stuff like that in the future guys but you know the transparent colors it's just find your out guys find your out find your style and that's what it's all about man because once you do that and you keep practicing different styles man you're gonna find your way out and you're gonna blow up man you're just gonna Fire ain't gonna be nothing after you after a few practice sessions, man, and and getting used to the different colors and how to lay it down, right? There's always, you know, you could lay down heavy, you could lay down light, whatever, man, whatever works for you, whatever you like, and whatever the customer like might like. Okay, so <clears throat> that's about it, guys. Take care out there. Keep keep airbrushing, keep freehand airbrushing, because that's what it's all about, man. That's what I love to do. Hopefully, you guys are are out there doing your thing and. and Pushing hard on that stuff, man, because there's a lot of satisfaction in freehand art. <laughs> Take care, guys. My name is Jason, the sick man. Peace out. Man.